Yo, what's good, guys? Today's video is a little special video. It's a video I decided to make from the heart for you guys. Uh, lately, I've been doing some crazy combo videos, you know. A lot of combos that are difficult for the normal Yu-Gi-Oh player to do. Combos that are better for the pro players out there that have been playing the deck for a long time. This video is a little different. It is a budget, noob-friendly pendulum deck. Budget, noob-friendly pendulum deck. Any guys that just went to the deck, any guys that just support me because you, you, know, you love my content, whatever, we're gonna start playing pendulums. This deck's for you. I made it for you guys to make sure that deck is under, like, uh, literally, the deck's literally under $100. $100. I even, uh, on another note, I even talked to my sponsor about it, and we decided to make a whole new feature on his website where we're gonna be selling this deck, this exact same budget list, for literally $85, or $80. And it's $80 because after tax and after shipping and all that stuff, it's guaranteed to be under 100. So after shipping, after tax, it's under $100 for a main extra, main, main and extra, like that's insane. For a tier one deck, that's absolutely insane. So a big shout out to my sponsor who like, he valued the price like crazy to make sure we do it. But the whole deck, after tax, shipping, everything, under, under 100 bucks, it's insane. So I made this for you guys, uh, true budget. Truly budget pendulum deck that still puts up four negates every turn, four or five negates every single turn with follow ups and everything. They'll destroy every single deck. So I'm going to showcase you guys right now. It took me a long time to build it for this cheap, but perfect tier one pendulum deck under $100. Let's get into it. So you obviously still play the turbo cards because they're absolutely insane. Obviously. They're still absolutely insane. And it's a 40 card deck. It's a 40 card deck. So the chances of drawing these turbo cards are even higher than in the 60 card deck. But then you got to play these 12, obviously. Next, you play two Jackal. In this new variant, and again, I'm also going to be talking about, I'm going to be doing videos, I'm going to be featuring this list a lot for you guys, man, a lot. I'm going to be showcasing, showcasing you guys how to play, how to utilize the Jackals properly, how to utilize Abductor properly, where you always get the free add of Abductor. Lots of small ideas here, but I'm going to showcase you guys later how to really utilize this. In another video, how to really play Budget Pendulums properly, for those people that don't know how to play. This video is straight up for the people that don't know how to play Pendulums, uh, so you guys actually know how to do it, and know how to put up 4 or 5 negates all the time. A lot of people say Pendulums suck. But they don't suck. The players suck. Like, it's not on the deck. The deck itself is incredible. But with a little bit of help, uh, everyone will start destroying people and destroying, starting destroying Thunder Dragons, everything. Next, this is more so for new friendly. A lot of issues with uh, Pendulum decks right now is after you get hand trapped, you don't have scales. So if you're playing a pro version, I recommend One Wisdom Mine. But three ensures. Uh, that you always have scales, so I recommend it for the more so budget player, but it's still incredible regardless. Even, it's not just budget, it's like budget, uh, budget, asterisk, still super competitive. Like, it's super, super competitive uh, regardless. Like, all these cards are essential. So far, you know, this is what a normal pendulum deck looks like. There's a few tweaks to make it more budget. Taking out a few cards in the main and extra, uh, like, to make it, like, so cheap where you get the whole deck for under 100 bucks, like, under 80 bucks, literally. But after shipping attacks, like, under 95 or something, 90, who knows, but... Next, two worm, one zero. I would play three and two, but it's fine. Two and one's all you need. We're trying to cut to 40 cards to still give an actual game plan for the deck. Next, five pendulum calls. I play way more, uh, six guaranteed, no 60, but five is perfect for 40. Don't play four. Five is the perfect number. Pendulum calls the best card in the deck. And uh, again, like I said, if you're playing these eight, ensure that you always have scales. So no matter what, draw one of these eight, you're almost guaranteed to have scales. So uh, it just ensures you always have scales. And scales is the biggest issue for noobs, especially. I'll be explaining more in the future how. Uh, how to play it as noobs, but I'm gonna go through this fast because after I finish the whole deck, I have even extra lists of an extra 40 card main deck, extra card 50 card side extra deck the, of extra cards, extra cards to show you guys uh, just to show more options for the noobs and budget players. Next, two shrine, one foolish. It's correct number if you play 40. Right now, it's all 35. Uh, it should be uh, straightforward so far. One thing I took out now, this is a straightforward list so far, the 35. Uh, with as many turbo cards as possible. We uh, took out Desires because uh, it is $5 or something like that. Uh, it's $15 that might not be necessary. Allure Darknesses are also $3, $4. There's been a lot of thought in this. Like I'm trying to save every penny for you guys and every single card so, so far shown in the list is necessary, absolutely necessary. If you don't have Wisdom Eyes, you can play one Wisdom Eye maybe because I think it's a few bucks as well. Or even a second Harmonize instead of a third because I think those are a few bucks as well. But I'm taking everything into uh, idea here to make it as budget and cheap for you guys to possibly buy uh, as possible. It's also why I told my sponsor, like, yo, give him a, a great deal. And I'm, I'm not making any money off this. It's literally just for you guys. 
because uh, I know a lot of you guys can't play competitively, but if you spend like 80, 90 bucks, like that's like one day, like that's like half a day of work, one day of work, and then you get a whole a competitive pendulum deck to destroy people at your locals. Next, there's a new game plan. So with a budget list, you're not available. You know, there's a lot of stuff that aren't available to you. There's a lot of stuff that aren't available to you if you're playing a budget list. You can't go Boral Load, you can't go Boral Sword, you can't go Nightmare Unicorn, uh, you can't do a whole bunch of crazy plays with your extra deck. So there's a whole simple game plan. It's called Fogblade.deck. Fogblades are incredible. They do not brick. I want to see a trap in hand. I want to see a trap in hand. What happens when you, your Electrum gets a uh, permanence or something? What happens when you get hand trap two? What happens when you get hand trap twice? You have a fog blade and a pen harmonizing. You know what I mean? Like you pen two for your extra, you get one rank four, one fog blade through two hand traps. So like these help you play through hand traps. They give you guarantee in the gates no matter what. Drawing one is good. And the reason why we play three, let's say you don't draw one. Or let's say you do draw one. Let's say you draw fog blade. Or, sorry, no, no, let's say you don't draw any. Just for example. You end up setting double fog blade, getting rid of one boots, and next turn you get another free fog blade next turn, right? And the common versions of these cards are like two cents. Like it's incredibly cheap and the most easy, simple way, especially for noobs, to get out in the gates. Uh, linking into uh, Rusty is very simple and easy. Uh, it makes it more easy for you guys to play. Uh, so in my version, even my real life version, in my, my 60 card version, I play three and two. I play Cloak as well. These cards are incredible in the deck. This is, like Rusty is so good that if people still don't realize how good Rusty is. That card's one of the most broken cards I've ever read. It's absolutely busted. I fell in love with it the second I read the card. The card's broken. So the game plan is simple. Uh, it's it just every single turn you're gonna go two spell trap negates. It's very simple to do. I'll explain you guys how to do it with two fog blades. And if you draw a jackal, you get a fifth negate. Next turn, next turn, you get a free fog blade after. They're gonna have trouble end up getting rid of. We get a free fog blade the second turn as well. The grind games included here as well. And again, budget, budget. That's a special word for today. So that's the 40 card main deck, and I'm gonna showcase you guys later in another video how the new game plan, how to do it properly, and how to play out our bad hands. And it's for a typical noob, like slow, slowly I'm gonna explain it, little by little, so you guys know how to do it. And for those who don't know these cards, or you're a super noob noob, I'll be showcasing you guys a deck, I'm gonna be putting a deck list on Dueling Book, so you guys can download it, and if you guys notice how it's cheap and it's good at budget, you can get it off my sponsors as well. Again, I don't make any money on this just for you guys to uh, get good at, like, get good with it and like destroy your opponents with it. I want Pendulums to be the most played deck. That's my main. That's one of the main reasons I started this channel, man. That's the main reason I only talk about Pendulums. And so uh, people can realize the power of Pendulum and play it more often. I want Pendulums to conquer the world. I want Regionals to be top eight Pendulum. All Pendulums. Uh, YCS. I want the top of Regionals to be 10 of the Pendulums. And it should be. It is the best deck. And I'm not talking crap when I say that it is the best deck. But not enough people want to play it. So that's what I'm trying to bring to you guys now. I'm, I'm a man for the people. I'm a man for the people. Next, uh, extra deck, Electrum Underclock Rusty. It's the whole combo. Uh, you don't need Metaltron whatsoever because the whole combo you just bring on Rusty. So there's no reason for Metaltron. One of each Nightmare. We don't play Unicorn because it's a budget build. If you have Unicorn Fantastic, play it. Fantastic against Under Dragons, but budget list. Next, Dweller Tornado. You don't play Boral Swords. That's another thing. The most, the 16th, the number one card I would play 100% if you could afford is Boral's Boral Load. So it's only, oh, how much is Borlo, bro? 25 Canadian. Like 25 Cad. That's like 15, 20 USD. Yeah. If you guys can afford that, that's a gigantic addition. I'm going to tell you guys what to take out if you do have it. It's getting reprinted again. It's getting reprinted beautiful. You put the second thing is reprinted, you play that. Because it's absolutely needed for Thunder Dragons. And if not, it's fine. But if you can get it, get it. Next to rank fours, one dollar, one tornado. Best rank four charges by a landslide. And again, uh, we don't play uh, Boral Load or Unicorn because uh, we're trying to save money. So we play Castell to get rid of the, the Thunder Dragons. This is still a super, super competitive list. It's still the, even this alone, this budget but without the balls alone is still the best deck uh, it's still tier one by a landslide next you play one uh dark rebellion with a ball sword it helps you otk and you can never forget rusty's secondary effect this card's so good you guys don't even understand how good it is it doesn't just give you two free negates on one turn it doesn't just gives you a doesn't just give you another negate the following turn it doesn't just give you a free arrow every single turn by somebody back with fog blade it also lets you pop a card for free when going with OTK with this card. It's insane. It has so many effects. You go into this with your harmonizing. This one's going to be like 4,000 damage when it attacks. And this will trigger a Dark XYZ Summon so you pop a card in the field, further helping you OTK. This deck does everything. Going first or going second. I don't side out the rest of the traps, much, to, to be honest. Not, not that often. Maybe one of each. But uh, it's incredible, this card. It's so good. Like It's absolutely incredible. Next... 
you have so many fog blades. The game plan is simple. Fog blades and jack over monster negates. Okay. Your extra deck shouldn't care about monster negates. So next, we simply go, unless it's Dweller or Tornado, which are hard to win against back row or uh, graveyard decks. Literally, every single spell trap negate that this deck could possibly play. So after you put up your double fog blade and possibly a jackal, if you draw it, you go literally Naruto, absolute drives to Void Ogre, pick two. Oh yeah, pick two, pieces, right? pick two. Sometimes you're gonna have a broken hand and void ogre. You're gonna have lots of cards in hand on top of the five negates, so you don't void ogre. But there's a lot of times you don't have cards in hand, especially if you go over four or five negates. When you go over five negates, you have all, not often you're gonna have cards in hand. You have scales, so you still have a great follow up. You're gonna have scales, but the rest of you always giving you two zones to pen summon to. But that's another reason why rest is broke. You're always two zones, but you get one of these. So you always want to end up on two fog blades and at the very, very, very least one of these, which every single hand does no matter what. Even the worst and worst of hands. Gives you double fog blade, one of these, and a jackal. Like the absolute worst of hands. So you can never uh, overlook the power of these spell trap negates. And they're obviously needed, especially going second or third. Sorry, in game two and game three, uh, you always want to make sure that you have two of these in case of mind control is evenly, stuff like that. And it's very easy to do. And I explain how in further videos. Lastly, where it is a budget build, so we're not playing the Morals, like I said, or Unicorn. So we play Ignister. You want more outs to Thunder Dragon decks, uh, the more the merrier. Uh, Moonlight Dragon's a better, better Ignister, in my opinion. If you can afford Moonlight, which is $10, I believe, play that instead. And again, a lot of this, this whole, like, this whole extra deck, this whole main deck, literally $80, like, or $85, I think it was, but after tax is $100 and, and shipping. Like, that's absolutely so, like, I never, it boggles my mind why these cards are so cheap. When you look at, like, what, a, a Boral Sword itself is worth way more than the deck. Like, uh, exactly. One Boral Sword is worth more than a tier one deck. It went in history as a tier one deck ever been this cheap. That's what boggles my mind and what actually inspired me to make this video. I want the disrespect of whoever makes these prices uh, like, d d d d hit the pendulum. Like, it's absolutely stupid. Next, the side deck. Also a super budget version. Triple Gamma Driver gets the job done. This is by far the best hand trap in the game right now. Two Valor, two Crow. Underrated hand traps. Like a cheap impermanence right here, and Crow does the trick. If you got Lancias, throw Lancias in there too. Who says you can't play competitively if you don't have hand traps? It stops evenly. Yeah, like it stops so much stuff, and stops Thunder Dragons a lot. So it's like these are budget hand traps that are working against everything. Crow and Valor work against literally everything, you'll be surprised. And so, same with these. You can always up your count if you're scared of Rongo. These are just there to stop Rongo and stuff like that. Uh, it's incredible, man. And next, uh, to uh, win Sky Sir against Sky Circus even more, this is Seeker, but I'm pretty sure Seeker or Common, they're like two cents. The common ones are two cents. Twisters and Reboots. Uh, reboots might be a dollar and Twister you don't even need. You could play something else instead. MSTs, like, uh, the, but again, I think it's good enough to play Twister because you pitch Dark Worm, etc. Pitch your Boots or whatever. This whole side deck, again, 20 bucks tops, not even. Like, it's incredibly budget. Uh, one Ghost Worker is worth more than this entire side deck. Like, you don't gotta, uh, you don't gotta pay to win. You don't gotta pay to win. You gotta subscribe to win. You gotta subscribe to win. <laughs> that's what you gotta do. That's what we do here, boys. Uh, once upon a time, I was a bunch of players as well. But Me now, too. all of us were. All of us were. All but Game Nation was at one point. All of us were. But at the end of the day, that's why I make I made this channel for you guys. To make it easier for you guys to play. You also gotta start somewhere. I just play Raid Raptors. <laughs> Guys, I want you guys to win your events. I don't, I'm not making this build for personal gain. I'm making this so you guys can top events and win. I want to see pendulums everywhere. We have this little selfishness in there. I want to see pendulums conquer the world, the Yu-Gi-Oh world, and it will. Just follow this build. Links will be in the description, guys, for the download link to the link box. You can test it out. And the download link to, uh, message me on Facebook if you guys want to message my sponsor. The whole deck's under 100 bucks. So let me know if you guys want that. And before we end the video, on a very fast note, there's literally a bonus for you guys that's been here for the, the whole video so far. I have 40 cards that are my, I take out in and out out of the deck. I have 15 extra deck cards that if you have a little few extra bucks, if you want to sp spit out to throw in your deck, if you already have the cards. So we're going to go by these super fast because I want to show you guys all the options. Because uh, again, it is budget. So obviously there's cards we want to take, we took out because they're too expensive. Desire is a lower upstart. They're all the staples that are worth a few extra bucks that I don't want you guys to buy for no reason if you don't need to play them. So they're not necessary, but if you have them, play them. I'll showcase you guys later. Like, uh, me privately message me if you're curious. Uh, if, you, if, you ever, if you have these cards already and want to throw them into your budget build already, let me know and I'll tell you guys what to take in and out. So only, but you guys better play with it. Not if you guys are going to ask us for the sake of it to waste my time. I want to do it to help you guys. If you guys are going to play this legitimately every weekend, then I'll, I would love to help you guys. I want to see Patrick's Love win everywhere. Next, a, a third Worm and a second Zero. They're okay. You can take them in and out if you want. A second Old Dragon, a third Shrine, third Alliance. They're all options. If you want to throw in and out, they're good. They're, if you want to play one of these instead, they're totally fine as well. Next is the Yazi package, uh, where you play five Ravines. Uh, I recommend this only for 60 cards. 
Mir Mir Cloak and Destrudo. Cloak allows Rusty to give you a free dragster because after you Rusty, you get Vantage Cloak, get Boots, and especially the Destrudo, and you get a free dragster because you get the free Cloak on field, or so you get the free Boots on field. And uh, the extra deck package uh, with this would be uh, Yazi for sure, Link Karibo, uh, Link Gearsu guaranteed with the Nightmares, and if you can afford it, a uh, Unicorn and a uh, Boral Load and a Boral Sword. So Boral Sword itself, I'm, bo I'm borrowing Boral Sword. So even I don't have Boral Sword right now. Like, it's okay. I'm borrowing Boral Sword from friends and I gave it back for a little. But Boral Load, Boral Sword are incredible with Yazi. Now the number one card I recommend to shell out if you guys could possibly afford it would be Three Desires and Boral, Boral Load. I highly recommend playing them in your deck. If you could afford a Boral Load and a Three Desires, throw them in your deck. I was trying to cut the deck under 100 bucks guaranteed. You're still very, very good without it. But it is going to make it even, even better. Uh, next, uh, other cards you can play is Black Fang. Uh, it's okay, but it's like not really not necessary whatsoever. Uh, next, uh, we have a Nappies package. We're gonna be showcasing a lot in the channel soon. Where uh, even without your normal, even like if you could, you could make Nappies every single turn, literally. This gives you another option for pen call, and you simply just even without making Electro, even without making Electro, you simply just pen a Harmonizing and a Dragon Pulse, uh, King of the Feral, and any other card, King of the Feral Imps, Palomaro, and Nappies. It's that simple. Like even without Electro, you could do it every single turn. At least a Nappies, if you play these. And it's good for a side deck. There's more options for you guys if you want to play. Next is Zephyr Engine. Uh, it, sometimes drawing into these are hard for the noob to play out of, so I didn't put this in the deck. Uh, drawing into a trap is good because it gives a noob or even a pro player just a free negate without even thinking. So uh, I'd rather play more of those because it gives you a real game plan. You know what you set out. You uh, simply get scales and you just pen summon as much as you can. And you, you just make rust. After you pen summon, you just make a secret seven or a vortex. And Rusty, and you have uh, four negates, so you know what I mean? Like, it's incredibly easy of a game plan. Just send that off Electro. Yeah, so for this, you, if, for those who want to play, you send this off Electro, pen summon it, and you get it. But then if you draw this, it's hard for people to play out of. So I took it out just to make it even easier for noobs, but even playing it's easy for noobs as well. You can go both ways with that, but uh, play it if you want. They're both great. Next are side deck options if you already have. A lot of people already own uh, like the level 3 tuners, uh, level, level 3 zombie tuners that are just good in general. Uh, Ghost Bell is expensive, so I don't want to throw it in here, but if you have it, it's okay. Honestly, I think it's the worst one. It's not even that good. It's honestly not that good whatsoever. I prefer these all, 100 times over. That's true. Exactly, exactly. Uh, so if you do have them, you can play them in your side deck over the other ones, but they're not absolutely necessary. There's options in there. Uh, next three draw also, and then the third Pearl, third Veiler. Uh, again, all these are budget cards. You don't need to play level, the hand draft of the draws. You don't need to. You can make your own. Like, there's just so, so many options out there for you guys. If you're ever confused on what to play, it's just a little bonus. Like, don't actually play these cards. The last 40 cards I'm showing you because they're bonus. And the third reboot is another way. And then extra, extra, extra deck cards. If you want to play, just more rank fours that are good. The, all these three trigger uh, uh, Rusty. Just more Dark, Spock, dark, dark XYZs you want to play just in case. And then Moonlight, if you can afford it, because it's better than Ignister. Clear Wing, if you want, but again, not that necessary. And then it's holding for the Cherries. Metaltron uh, and Lapragas are just other generic links, but you don't need them because Rusty is. Uh, everyone must play Rusty. It's not uh, not debatable. It's completely not debatable. If you're not playing Rusty pe and Pendulums, you're an absolute idiot. Like, it's not debatable. It's like not playing Engage in Sky Strikers. You're an absolute moron if you don't play. It's literally like not playing. Uh, literally like not playing Electro. That's how much of a disadvantage you're playing. It's like you're purposely neutering yourself. It's like you're purposely, it's like you purposely see a 9 out of 10 girl on the street and a 3 out of 10 girl. And purposely saying, hey 9 out of 10 girl, I don't want to sleep with you today, so I'm going to sleep with a 3 out of 10 girl instead. For absolutely no reason, I just feel like it. That's literally the equivalent of what you're doing here by not playing the de by not playing Rusty. So play Rusty. These two are decent, but not that good. But they're there anyways. Guys, that's the video. I showcase you every option you possibly can. Uh, you guys better be playing this. Honestly, I've been featuring Budget Pages a lot. Uh, Query your request. You guys have been asking for it. I'm be showcasing a lot more. I'm gonna be featuring it more. I'm gonna be doing duels with budget pendulums, with a pearl sword, stuff like that. I'm gonna be doing uh, how to play around hydras with a bunch of pendulums, do well, game on budget pendulums, everything. I'm even gonna enter, like, I'm gonna call a bunch of friends over, like, you know, 16 man tournament at my house. This is showcase, guys. This is gonna win. That's the video. Hope you guys like it. Make sure to subscribe. See you guys next video. Peace.